right, so today is the day, finally. I just got back from a workout, and I wanna get the Stingray in there right away, as you can tell by the thumbnail. All right, so I had football this morning, and then I had another workout, so I've not been able to look at it yet. Luckily, it's not been sitting in the sun too much, so that's good, and hopefully everything's, I'm super excited. not fall down the stairs <laughs> into the fish cave baby all right hopefully everything's alive and well my buddy also ordered a freshwater tarpon which I'm excited to see but inside that box is a freshwater tarpon and a marble Matoro stingray that's about nine inches wide pretty excited all right buddy. Huh? Big shout out to globalfish.co for the hookup. Super awesome. Global Fish Co, baby. I appreciate it big time. Like he's breathing. I can't really tell patterns or anything, but it's exciting. Here's the freshwater tarpon. That's so cool. That's so cool. Put this in a five gallon bucket. Make sure that water sits right. Yeah, he's, he's, ba he's bagged up a couple times just so he doesn't pierce it. Oh my gosh, he's a big one. Oh my gosh, he's big. He is big. Still can't really see the patterns, but man, I'm excited. Go ahead. All right, so I'm gonna drip acclimate it because I want everything to be perfect, essentially. So this is gonna make sure the water, digest the water and the temperature. So I'm just gonna put a little knot so that it's not dripping too fast. And then I'll put this in here. Closer. And then you just give this a little suck. And it's just dripping like that. So that way he's getting used to this water while he's still in his water. All right, so it's been uh, drip acclimating for only like five minutes. I'm getting so anxious. I gotta wait about another 15 minutes and um, then we'll get them in there. Oh, air, guys, wanna get air. I love when they get air, it's so cool. So anyway, so I've been preparing for this thing right for honestly like, in reality, the last month basically. I did a lot of the work recently though, so I used to have a tiger, a tiger nose, or a tiger shovel nose catfish in here, a, um, a, a, a pike cichlid, and a pleco. Although plecos will suck on, they're known to suck on the back of a stingray and leave like welts. So I wanted him out of there. 
The catfish is also a bottom dweller, so I didn't want them to get into anything. And the pike is kind of just a jerk, but I love them. So I hooked up this new tank that my buddy gave me. Shout out to Matt, thank you. And um, so it wasn't tall enough, so we had to put a wood, we had to build a wood stand for the bottom. Shout out to my dad. And um, so then I hooked this up. I put 50% of this water and then 50% new water. I graveled it, and so now the pike, tiger shovel nose, and the pleco are all in there, and they're doing great. And so then this tank, I used to have a big rock formation, but the stingray needs all, that whole bottom to swim. So I took that out. I put a little decoration in there because I didn't want it to be too boring. And then I kept the Florida Gar, who should stay at the top most of the time. He'll, he'll chill down there a little bit. Um, he should, he hopefully should be okay with the stingray. If anything were to happen, I just remove him and put him in that other tank. Then I've got a peacock bass over here. Who, he's sitting on the ground right now, but once again, most of the time he'll be up in the middle column swimming. And then in the back, you can kind of see his tail over here. It's a, uh, a bicher. I think it's a, it's a polymeratus or something, bicher. And he, should, he shouldn't, he's super nice, but uh, he shouldn't bother the stingray at all. So those three, I think, should go great with the stingray. And as you can see, this is a 120 gallon, two foot wide by four feet long, and it's pretty tall. So it should be plenty of room for him to swim on the bottom. And then I also have it matched up with a, um, I also have it matched up with a 55 gallon sump where, so the water comes through here, the water comes out this tube, goes through media, then it's gonna go through lava rock, more media that holds beneficial bacteria. I got the heater in here, and then I got a bunch of plants sucking out nitrates, and then it gets pumped back up to the top. And I'm also running a smaller canister, which sucks up a lot of the debris down here and into the canister filter. So I'm thinking this should be a perfect match. The temperature is 79 degrees, which is, yeah, the range for stingrays 75 to like 82, so that should be perfect. I just checked the water and everything looks good there, so everything should be good. All right, so I'm just loosening up the knot. It's been 15 minutes. So now I want the drip acclimation to go a little faster just so it's like, it's, it's the temperature of my tank and everything. So just keep that from not falling over and we'll be good. All right, so it's been acclimating for almost 30 minutes. It's like right next to 30 minutes. So that's pretty long. My plan is, is to use an actual like fishing net and I don't want its stinger to get stuck in anything, so I'm thinking these holes are hopefully big enough. I'm gonna just put this on the styrofoam like this, dump the water through it, he'll fall in there, and hopefully, well, this will be interesting. I'll just put it in there. Gosh, he's gorgeous. That wasn't the cleanest transition, but he's in, and I, he didn't get stuck in the net. It's gonna take him a second to get used to his environment, but look at that thing. So this is a Marble Matoro Stingray. It's a male, which you can tell by the two claspers down there, if you can kind of get close into those. That's how you know it's a male. Um, it's about nine inches wide in diameter, which I'll tell you what, I thought of nine inches, and you look at that, I mean, diameter, it's, it's, it's a big, it's a big stingray. And honestly, I've always, I've wanted one ever since I got in the hobby. And I've been in the hobby for, I don't know, seven, eight years now. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that I, I know what I'm doing enough to hopefully house this guy. And he is just so cool. I'm just stoked. Oh my gosh. All right, so the stingray's in and I had to leave it, which was hard to do, but uh. So now we're headed back to uh, my buddy Jared's house. He uh, he ordered the freshwater tarpon, helped me out with uh, paying for shipping and everything. So uh, we'll get to you when we're at his house to put this little guy in. He's gonna be a monster one day. All right, so we're just letting him acclimate in the bag to adjust to the temperature. Jared's got him acclimating. I mean, it's it's been 15 minutes or so. We'll give it like five more minutes and then uh, we'll put him in here. We got this whole tank, we took out a couple fish from this tank so that it's just him, he won't get picked on. There's one pleco in there, which ain't gonna do anything. And uh, here's his other tank, though, with some largemouth, catfish, some sunfish, and two pike. Pretty cool setup. 
But yeah, we'll get back to you when we're putting the tarpon in. All right, he's been acclimating. He's going in. He's ready to get out of there, dude. Oh yeah, dude, he is going to be an absolute giant. Probably won't even take, he's gonna grow so much in a couple months. Look at that silver flashing. He's vibing over there in the bubbles. Such a pretty fish too, and I've caught him in salt water and it'd be so cool to have a big one in fresh water. You never know, maybe we'll get this guy back when he's <laughs> big someday. For right now, he's looking good though. Yes sir. yes sir. I think he's doing great. I can't get over how amazing this fish looks. He's just ridiculous. Big shout out to Global Fish Co. Seriously, everyone go subscribe or go follow them on Instagram. Check out their website, order some fish. That's awesome, I appreciate it. I just got air. Um, he, you know, he's still getting used to the tank. I'm gonna get back to you guys in like the morning to see how he's doing and uh, I'll see you then. All right, so it's the next day. It's 4.30 p.m. and he seems to be doing great. He was swimming around the tank a bunch yesterday, swimming up on the glass. Hopefully we'll do that for you guys in a second. He's just been a blast to watch. After having the stingray, that is officially the most relaxing and like majestic fish to watch. It's just crazy. So yesterday we uh, we dropped off the tarpon at my buddy's and then we both got back and we're like, let's just see how it's doing. Next thing we know, we were sitting here for like two hours, just like mesmerized watching them and it was like three, and so uh, I actually fed him yesterday. So literally like three or four hours after I put him in the tank, he was already eating, which showed me that he's doing really well. So hopefully he continues to do well, and he's awesome. So uh, to stay updated on this uh, guy, check out our Instagram, aqua underscore beasts. We got some merch too if you wanna check it out. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll also, we'll post uh, YouTube videos checking up on him too. And uh, stay tuned for the, uh, the fish cave tour. A lot of fish. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, have a good one. I'll see you in the next one.